Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss a non-algebraic or a transcendental type of function. The two functions that we will discuss is exponential and logarithmic function. However, there are other types of non-algebraic or transcendental function that is trigonometric. We will not discuss this function and only focus on exponential and logarithmic function. So let's continue. Let's start with exponential function. Remember from the previous video, if fx is a power function, x is power to a constant number or the exponents are constant. Example, x to the power of 3 or x to the power of 5. An exponent can also be as a variable or said to be a variable exponent. Example, 3 to the power of x or 3 to the power of t. The number 3 is to be raised to varying powers, various value of x or t. A function whose independent variable appears in the role of an exponent is called an exponential function. The function shown here is the simplest form of an exponential function. y as a function of t equals to b to the power of t, where b is greater than 1. And it is defined that y is the independent, is the dependent variable, t is the independent variable, and b denotes a fixed base of the exponent. The domain is a set of all real numbers. And as a question for you to think, why is the base b restricted to be greater than 1? So let's take a look at the graphical representation of an exponential function. A change in the exponent has the effect of the exponential graph to rotate toward or away the y-axis, as you can see here. Changing the coefficient will cause the curve to move away or compress toward the horizontal axis. So, the general form of an exponential function is as follows. y as a function of t equals to ab to the power of ct, where b here is the main base and t is the main at, um power or exponent and a and c are the coefficient or the compressing or extending agents. So let's now move on to the second function, the logarithmic function. The log function is the result of reversing the roles of the dependent and independent variable of the exponential function. So here we have the exponential function where y is the dependent and t is the independent. And as we convert it into a log function, t becomes the dependent and y becomes the independent. The log of y to the base of b or denoted by b log y is the power to which the base b is raised in order to attain the value of y. So we can also write it as in this form, b is raised into a value to get the uh, to get this y, and it's um, raised by the log function, where we know here that this is equivalent to this function, b log y is equal to t, b to the power of t is just equal to y. Um, so the process of finding the log logarithmic function b log y is referred to as taking the log of y to the base b. And the reverse process is known as the antilog of b log y. As an example here, we have 4 log y equals to 2. So how many is y? It's just the process of taking the antilog of 2 with the base of 4, which is 16. Um, log function has a preferred base, that is 10, and the Euler, Euler number, 
or in short is E. The preferred base is for is more for a convenience in mathematical uh, equation or when you solve uh, the equation. We will use this further when discussing derivative. But for now, let's see why this is a preferred base. For logarithma, having 10 as a preferred base, it is called a common log. The result of 10 log 10 to the power of n is just n itself. You can see from the following example here why 10 is a preferred base. You see here 10 log 1000 equal to 3 because 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1000. 10 log 100 is equal to 2 just because 10 power to 2 is 100 and so on. 10 log 0 0.01 equals to minus 2 because 10 power to minus 2 is equal to 0 0.01. Another uh, preferred base is the E base or we call it as natural log. Uh, and we usually read this natural log as len. E log E to the power of k or len e power of k is just equal to k another convenience here you can see uh, the following example len a to the power of 2 is equal to len 1 over e or log e e to the power of minus 1 equal to minus 1 now about log and exponential function, the uh, relation between this two equation. We can see it from graphical form, log and exponential function mirror each other. And these mirror, mirroring each other implies the first that for exponential function here, it has a positive range. Here you see the y are all in the positive range. Uh, it goes um, asymptotic here. While the logarithmic function, it has a positive domain. And both are uh, an increasing curve. Uh, the concept of increasing, decreasing curve, we will discuss further when we talk about derivative. So I don't want to talk further about an increasing and decreasing rate of a curve. Um, the following are properties of exponential function and logarithmic function. These properties will help you when you do when you solve an equation for logarithmic and exponential equation. Here is an example. Solve the root of a to the power of 9x. So um, by the rule of 4, yeah, we can rearrange first. Uh, the square root of a to the power of 9x is just a to the power of 9x um, and square root is actually power of one half and rearranging ba based on rule four we have a to the power of 9 over 2x so that's the solution another example here solve a log 3x over 8y. So based on rule 2 here, uh, 3x of log 3x over 8y is just equal to log 3x minus log 8y. Both have the same base a. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is the first step. The next one is um, log 3x by rule 1 here uh, if you have a multiplication yeah 3x here you can just uh, make it into additional log 3 plus log x minus log 8 plus log y and the end result is just log 3 plus log x minus log 8 plus log y and here are other rules of logarithma 
which also can help you in solving a problem. There are five rules for you to know. And here I have an example uh, to solve 4 log e times e log 64. Uh, to solve this equation, we follow the rule from rule 4 here. So this is like a chain rule, yeah? We have 4 log e, e log 64 is just equal to 4 log 64 equals to 3. We have come to the end of our discussion. See you on other videos.